Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 7, otherwise entitled simply Thanksgiving. But of course, before we get into the rest of the video, let's actually watch the trailer. Oliver Queen, you're under arrest. This might be the most difficult thing we've ever had to face. Do people think that the Green Arrow's in prison and the floodgates will open? Kid James is going after Sterling City. Get those fans out of there. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Arrow, all new this Thursday at 9, 8 central on The CW. So last episode was the uh, the second part or the last part of the two-part Deathstroke story, which I think was a really good episode. I really did enjoy that Deathstroke story. And they really did leave it with an open book. A lot of people have been asking, oh, what's happening with Deathstroke now? And they just really left it open. So it's really just open. They can bring back Deathstroke whenever they want, when they see fitting. I highly doubt we'll see him again this season unless they want to do something with him in the back half. Once again, that just matters with DC and stuff if they want, if they let the producers and stuff use the character. But I would like it if from now on, Arrow just did like two episodes a season and it's a Deathstroke story. Like what they do on The Flash when they do something where there was like Gorilla City going to Earth 2, the Firestorm stuff, something like that. And even Legends this season is doing like a two part with Constantine, which they could continue on down the track or have like special guests come in. So in regards to Deathstroke, I'd be surprised if we saw him again this season. Um, but I hope they do set up something where we do see him each season from now on in with Arrow. But before we jump into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly go over the synopsis just because it gives us a bit of a better idea of what's going on in this uh, episode. But of course, do be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode, of course, as well as being uh, sure to leave a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. Oliver celebrates Thanksgiving with his family, but the happy moment is interrupted. Meanwhile, Black Siren returns to wreak havoc on the holiday. So the first big thing from the trailer, which is sort of hinted at in the synopsis, is that Oliver is actually arrested by the FBI. And from what it looks like, it's at a public ceremony. Now, I did see some set photos, I think, from this episode. And this is just like a typical mayor thing, like it's some Thanksgiving ceremony. And Oliver's, you know, the mayor, so he's heading it up and giving a speech. So this is pretty awkward that the FBI feel that this is the right time to arrest him. Obviously, we did see in previous episodes that this FBI agent had the big board, was covering what was going on with Oliver. So I don't know if something happens at the beginning of this episode, which makes her triggered enough or gives her enough evidence to go and arrest Oliver. We'll have to wait and see because you'd have to assume something in the beginning of the episode is going to make uh, Oliver get arrested. But once again, as we've seen with some other shows, the main character from every show, like the lead character, there's something happening, in, in, uh, happening to them in all these episodes by the look of it. So in Legends... Um, we had Sarah is now out of commission because of something that happened to her at the end of last episode. So she won't be, you know, as a heavy hitter, if not at all in her episode for this week. And then we have Stephen Amell who plays Oliver Queen. Uh, although he's going to be in jail. So this is all like crossover stuff. It's so they give like these actors that are going to be like big roles in the crossover. They can give them, give them like a bit of a break, let them recharge their batteries a lot. So they're not main focuses on like the episodes either before or just after the crossover, just so they have some time to relax, which I agree with because you don't want the actor to be burnt out. You want them to have like the best performance possible. And for the crossover, you sort of want that. But as Diggle says, with Green Arrow in prison, that's just going to draw the villains out. The villains are coming out to play. Now, I wonder if it's just going to be like the villains we're going to be talking about in a second, or if like, you know, Star City is going to be facing a big crisis with all these people coming out to sort of cause havoc. Because as we know from the end of last episode, Diggle's still got that tremor thing going on. We did see that Dinah actually had two vials of the drug. So I don't know if she's going to give them to Diggle when he needs them. So he's not like, you know, overdoing it. So she can be the one that like sort of, you know, administers them. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if like Diggle's going to be on his top game this episode because of the tremors and stuff like that. But if he is, and that just makes it a much harder job for the rest of Team Arrow if they're going to have to deal with all these villains. But the two villains in particular that are going to be causing havoc in this episode are, of course, Caden James returning for his second episode after his, his debut episode a couple of episodes ago. And then we have Black Siren coming back, once again, most likely working with Caden James as she was in the, uh, the, uh, the episode a couple of episodes ago. 
Now, it is going to be interesting to see their dynamic for the rest of the season if they do remain, you know, as a, as a partnership this season, whether, like, where they go, like, what is Caden James' overall plan? Will he end up teaming up with Richard Dragon? Um, we do know that Black Siren did steal, like, that T-Sphere prototype, and then we saw that, that like, rogue Black Ops group look, uh, using something that looked like a T-Sphere. So I don't know if they're going to go back to that, or that was just, like, a coincidence, and they just, like, reused props or something in that episode. But hopefully they come back to that if Black Siren was responsible for taking that T-Sphere, giving it to someone, most likely Caden James, him developing it, selling it to people to make money. You would have to think it's something like that. So hopefully they do come back to that and, you know, just explain it all because I don't like loose ends on this show and Arrow sometimes can leave a lot of loose ends. So hopefully they tie a few of them off. But of course, this episode is called Thanksgiving. So if there's a lot of villains involved, what are they doing? They're ruining Thanksgiving. So they're going to be blowing up this stadium by the looks of it. It looks like there's explosives down there or it's some sort of like AMP. They're doing something to the stadium just to cause a lot of havoc. I don't know if they necessarily want to be killing a lot of these people. I don't know if that's what they want to go for. But then again, Caden James was willing to like um, kill people before. So I don't know what they're going to go for here. I'm interested to see what their big plan is. It does look like it might just be like that typical villain plan. Like, oh, blow up an area, kill a lot of people or at least threaten to, but, and then maybe do something on the side. So while people are trying to contain that, which could be what they're going for, like make this big scene with blowing up a stadium, potentially draw Team Arrow out to that situation and then do something elsewhere to get whatever they need, which could be what they're doing. Caden James is a pretty smart person and he could even get Black Siren on the case over to the stadium to even draw Team Arrow further into the situation. But we'll have to wait and see in this episode. But Caden James actually says something pretty interesting in this trailer and he goes, cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Now, a lot of you, if you do Shakespeare in high school, which I'm assuming a lot of you guys do or have done, uh, that's actually like a Shakespearean quote. It's from Julius Caesar, the play. It's said by Mark, I think it's Mark Anthony, Mark Antony, might I say, not Anthony, Mark Antony. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty interesting thing. Caden James, I think will be Providing a lot of scholarly quotes, if that's the correct way to go about it. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying the Caden James character from what we've seen so far. Like he was a big part of like last season technically, but we didn't see him. Um, so I'm interested to see what his plan is this season, as I said before, and where the Black Siren is with him uh, along alongside him, might I say, the whole way. I'm just not sure what he's really going for. And I'm really sort of confused at the moment who the big bad for the season is, because I really want it to be Richard Dragon. But I have like an underlying feeling that may, they might make it Caden James. We'll have to wait and see. Just because Michael Emerson is a bigger actor, so they might have thought, okay, we'll make him the um, the big bad for the season. I'd rather it be Richard Dragon. Let me know in the comments section down below. Who would you rather be the big bad for the season? Richard Dragon or Caden James? I'm definitely Team Dragon, even though Caden James is interesting, but he's all computer hacking and stuff like that. And as you guys would know, I'm not the biggest fan of that, seeing this is a vigilante show. So give me some Richard Dragon awesomes, awesomeness with his martial arts and stuff like that. But let me know in the comments section down below who you would prefer to be the big bad. But next episode is the crossover, as I did say earlier on, in regards to like why Stephen Amell or Oliver Queen is in jail. So look forward to that. I don't know if there'd be any setup in this episode. Like Olicity is apparently meant to be getting married in the crossover. But I don't think there'd be any proposal or anything like that in this episode because I think it's going to be like some sort of spontaneous wedding. I don't know. I, I'm not looking forward to it if that's the case. But um, yeah, there might be some little crossover things like maybe just invites to Barry and Iris's wedding. That's probably all we're going to get in regards to setup. I think the biggest um, show that we get the most setup would either be Supergirl or Legends just because one's on a different earth and the other group are just traveling around time. So I think they're the two shows that will get most of the setup and obviously Flash as well because it's Barry and Iris's wedding. Uh, but we already know they're going to be doing some stuff next week in regards to setup for that part of the crossover at least. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode. Is it Black Siren? Is it Caden James? Who do you think the big bad for this season is? Do you think it's Caden? Do you think it's Richard Dragon? Do you think it's someone else? Do you think it's Vigilante? Is he the big bad? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later guys. Goodbye. <laughs>